increase, decrease. Basically, we will discuss what is the effect of an increase in the value of inventories and what is the effect of the of a decrease in inventories on gross profit. <clears throat> Here we have a trading account where we have an opening stock of 5,000. We have a purchases of 30,000, direct cost 2,000, sales of 25,000, closing stock 20,000, giving us a gross profit of 8,000. Let us just assume that the closing stock is reduced to a value of 18,000. If this happens, all other figures remaining the same. Basically, what we are saying is that instead of assigning a value of 20,000 to closing stock, we are assigning a value of 18,000. The effect on the profit is that this total will also be reduced to 43,000 and therefore gross profit would be 6,000. But on the other hand, if we were to increase the value which is assigned to the closing stock and we make it 24,000, all other things remaining the same, we would get a gross profit of 12,000. Thus we see that a decrease in stock, with a decrease in stock, there is a decrease in profit of the same amount. If there is an increase in inventories, there is an increase of profit by the same amount. Having said that, <clears throat> Closing stock, what we discussed so far is that an increase in closing stock results in an increase in gross profit by the same amount. But what is the effect of the opening stock? If we were to increase the opening stock to 6,000, then the profits would get reduced to 7,000. Thus, increase in an opening stock decreases the gross profit while a decrease of the opening stock will increase the amount of gross profit. This is because opening stock is a part of the cost of goods, whereas closing stock is actually a reduction in the cost of goods. Closing stock goes up, gross profit goes up. Closing stock comes down, gross profit comes down. If opening stock were to go up, gross profit would come down, whereas if an opening stock were to be reduced, it would result in increased cross 